Some veterans are about to get a big surprise. It's going to make a life a lot easier. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live where a Purple Heart recipient is getting a free car. Yeah, I need more. Hey there, Cynthia. This is all being made possible by the Cars for Heroes organization. They've been doing it for 20 years. So far this morning, we've given away cars to two folks. They're serving families. One, a mother who has a, four children, and they live out with her mother out in Shawnee. Another one was a woman, a veteran, who was homeless in Utah. She has now since moved back here home. And now we're going to go ahead and give away the third car. Car to a Purple Heart recipient. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Terry Franz, the head of the Cars for Heroes organization here. Just tell us a little bit about what's happening right now. Well, this is our third uh, car we've given away this morning, and this is going to Ken. Ken was uh, was it Iraq or yeah, it was Iraq. In, in Iraq? Uh, a IED went off, blew his truck up, and threw him 15 feet. Got a few uh, injuries on his legs. And um, they're without transportation right now. And they're a family of how many kids you got? Four. Four kids? Yeah. So you got six people that can't go anywhere. So, uh, and also, he is a uh, double Purple Heart recipient. So we just wanted to uh, help him out a little bit and tell him, thank you, Ken, for your service. We appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to your family for allowing you to, to serve. And hopefully this will take away some of the stress I and uh, let you go. I'll bring support military over. They work with us, and uh, he'll hand you some keys. All right. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for your service Thank starting you. off. Uh, my name is Colonel Phil Wadalevich, retired I, uh, with the SupportMilitary.org Foundation, uh, and in on behalf of the Reserve Affairs Office. Combined Arms Center, Fort Leavenworth, I'd like to present you the Certificate of Appreciation for your service. Uh, Thank you. We really appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate as it. As far as the family goes, outstanding. Thank you for your support to Kenneth here. And uh, I want to turn it over to Ms. Gretchen Bushy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ken, just, just quickly, how, what is this going to be to your family? Transportation for one. This beats two feet, and I only have two, so. It's going to help out a lot. How did you guys hear about this organization in the first place? My mother-in-law, she heard it on the radio, and she told my wife about it. So that's how we heard about it. And if you can, how is this? You know, just explain the importance of, of folks donating their cars here. Well, how how important? important yeah. Well, for me, it's really important. I know for a lot of other former soldiers who've been injured and just soldiers, period, that means a lot. Who need it? Well, thank you so much for your service. Kind of really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You. Again, three cars given out today by the Cars for Hero organization. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas this morning, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.